Wouldn't it be nice if AI could do your expense reports for you? Well, that's what Citi, the third largest bank in the U.S., is offering to commercial clients after teaming up with expense management startup Navan. Joining us now to discuss, Navan CEO Ariel Cohen. Uh, Ariel, welcome. Now, I know you've got a large office in Tel Aviv, a good portion of your workforce there. Our thoughts are with them and all the innocent civilian lives at risk in the region, first of all. And on the business, though, what is the significance of partnering with a bank of this size on AI for expense management when it comes to your growth rate? Uh, hi, John. First of all, thank you for having me, and it's great to be here with you. And I think two or three months ago, we've talked and I've explained about our Navan Connect strategy. And the idea was that we have this really amazing expense management system that is basically using technology to capture all of your expense automatically. So, uh, you know, I'll give you an example. I'm going to the hotel. I need to check out. I'm getting this receipt. And now my company will ask me to describe the receipt, right, to uh, basically itemize it, describing the taxes. What did I take from the minibar? What did I do in the, you know, in the bar of the hotel? And we automated it, to your point, using AI. So now Citibank uh, cardholders, uh, the commercial cardholders will be able to enjoy that. And in fact, our entire travel platform, if you have that card, you'll be able to book your trips from us. You, can, you will be able to automatically expense everything. And your company will be able to reconcile, to control it, to put policy in place. Mm -hmm. So this is a very unique offering. Now, what is the impact on the financial sector? I mean, I guess maybe it's, it's an opportunity for you to make a sales pitch. But it seems to me, you know, I've been tracking this cooperation between large banks and fintech companies. We're talking about uh, J.P. Morgan, M Morgan and Gusto just a few weeks ago. Uh, there's a chance that these larger banks <coughs> use technology to pull ahead, providing this high-touch service uh, to small and medium business clients. Are enough regional banks working with you? Yeah, we are, we are talking with more banks. This is the first partnership that we've announced. We've announced three months ago a partnership with Visa and MasterCard to enable all of these things from a technology perspective. And now we are starting to roll it uh, out with the different banks. And Citibank is the first one. And to your point, it's the third large, largest bank in the U.S. Uh, at the end, I think that banks are really good on being banks, right, on creating credit, on underwriting you, on understanding how to provide loans. And tech companies like us are really good on creating a really good technology. And teaming up, like you've mentioned, between tech companies and banks can create amazing, amazing offerings for the, their customers, right? Our customers and the Citibank customer in this case that can completely eliminate expense management, can book their trips in five minutes. So I think that if companies will focus on what they're really good at, banks on really providing credit, credit cards, and so on, and will provide the, the technology, the offering in the marketplace will be really good. Ariel, it's no secret that you guys are a late stage startup that a lot of uh, people are watching, tantalized for when the IPO window is open wide enough. Uh, I know it can be, people often get cagey talking about that kind of stuff, but when you see what has happened with Arm, with some of the other companies that have come public, different from you, software as a service, how do you feel? Yeah, I think the market is uh, probably, there were two or three weeks that it looked a little bit better, but if you look at the market generally, uh, it still has a lot of room to go for a company like ours to feel that that's the time to go public. Uh, you and I talked about it in the past. We don't have new news around that. Uh, the company, to your point, is late stage. Uh, our revenue, our numbers are uh, of a late stage, uh, stage company, uh, but the market is not open for this right now. So we are doing our thing. We are creating value for our customers. We are partnering. We are expanding our TAM, which this partnership is about expanding the TAM. And eventually, when the time would be right from the market perspective, you'll probably see us talking about it.